So where does Java exist in the real world? Hmm. Well, Java, you can find it, and we're not completely confined to this, but this is just kind of like an overview of places where you'll see Java. Applications, console, or graphical applications um, in many different platforms. JSP, the Java yeah. server pages, which is the server-side web scripting. Right. Applets or crashlets, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> programs, nice. uh, programs that are embedded in another program. Mobile devices such as cell phones, tablet PCs, and other mobile right. Devices. Like uh, BlackBerry and uh, yeah, crack Android. Yeah. Or embedded, like sometimes you'll see a little Java icon on your DVD or Blu-ray player because yeah. it's running Java software. So, and also a lot of high-definition televisions that have more complex you know, settings and weird stuff you can mm -hmm. do will actually have a Java runtime inside of the television. Yeah, it's cool. And the software that runs your TV is Java. I would argue the most often place that you'll find Java is probably in Java server pages. I can see that. But you see it in a lot of places. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yep. Is <laughs> JavaScript... At all related to Java? Yes. No. Oh, why you break my? Why you break my <laughs> heart? You're right? breaking my heart. <laughs> so it wasn't even created by the same developers. <laughs> Java Sun Microsystems. God. <laughs> JavaScript is Netscape Inc. God. <laughs> Whatever happened to Netscape? Oh, they were bought out by yeah. AOL. That's right, and they they ruined them forever. Uh, well, a yeah. Well, AOL. Is AOL kind tends of a, to do that. Don't a joke. They? Yeah. Well, they ruin themselves eventually. <laughs> Like every tech company that's bought out by a media empire, yeah. <laughs> like MySpace. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. They they went right down the hole. Yeah. JavaScript's name is generally a marketing stunt to try to jump on the tailcoats of Java's popularity. It was originally supposed to be LiveScript. Legend has it that Sun let Netscape use their popular language names so long as Java was supported in the Netscape web browser. Yeah, now some of this is speculation. Some people swear this is true, but it is generally considered that JavaScript is called JavaScript to coattail yeah. off of Java because the languages are not related at all. And if it's not true, that's, that's a fun, fun story. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's funny. Who cares? So the philosophy of Java, Brian, is to be simple and familiar nice. first and foremost. It's a good idea. So do not deviate too far from C++ syntax because the assumption is especially back in the mid and early 90s most developers were exposed to C++ yeah. at that time. So, and they were and they still are. Right, so why not keep it similar to that? So the language is designed is to be simple enough that a would-be developer that is familiar with C++ does not need to go through any arduous training programs to become a Java professional. Nice. So the familiarity aspect and simplicity aspect is to also create a completely object-oriented ecosystem that will support complex tasks and make them very much simplified. Right. So instead of uh, uh, if you need to, you know, create a socket and connect yeah, oh to yeah. another thing, mm -hmm. Java's awesome for that. It's amazing. Yeah. You yeah. just like jump into the packet and say, hey, I want to make a socket. I want to make it do this. Done. Right. Like it's, it's nice. Yep. It's very cool. Mm -hmm. And so it took a huge leap forward in that layer of abstraction, having that, oh, yeah. that package framework, um, and that whole ecosystem of objects ready to use, like we saw in, uh, in a, and with uh, Coco. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a similar thing. Um, Only way better. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so it's, there's no like run in it object. Like a, like, right. Blah, 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 it's very blah. intuitive. It's very like well. I mean, it's not necessarily a good thing to learn on because you really want to know the lower level oh, yeah. first. Oh yeah. But it does make programming very quick. Oh. Also, their philosophy was to have a architecture neutral execution. So like we were saying that that write once run anywhere the Wara mentality. You should be able to compile source code into a language that's not specific to the machine that you wrote it on, but that it can be interpreted during its runtime in a virtual machine on a variety of different system architectures. Right, and then that, that bytecode that it produces is more efficient to interpret than source code. Right. Which is what that whole thing is yeah. all about. So also, performance is very important. I'm going to put an asterisk next to this. <laughs> yeah. But this is, we're not, we're just not... <laughs> Since the runtime layer provides significant overhead, they would they wanted to develop advanced interpretation techniques to maximize the processing output. Right. Now we're not saying that performance is good. We're just saying in Java, performance is important. Yeah, yeah, it's important. There you go. So there's Another thing that to help with performance is they believe that there is no need to support unnecessary or rarely used programming concepts. So there is no support for structures, unsigned values, or pointers. Isn't that crazy? Which I find kind of holy for a few of these things. Yes. But that's the that's what kind of nuts. Yeah, it's kind of I mean, really that's what's that's your performance increase tactics. Like that's probably why it's not very fast. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I like Java. I like Java. <laughs> Memory management should be automatic. That's kind of nice. They have garbage collection process, so uh, developers aren't really responsible for managing memory. No release? Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
So no I don't draining. know what I'm going to do with myself. If I can't drain a pool, I'm lost. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to drown if I can't drain a pool. <laughs> nice. So these runtime component, there's a runtime component that keeps track of all of the reference pointers and automatically cleans all the unused references for you. Which we're not used to. We haven't had yeah, this experience. Yeah, we're going to get spoiled. 